Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will guide you step by step on how to fix the error message. Virtualized Intel VTX slash EPT is not supported on this platform. This error is commonly encountered when using virtualization software like VirtualBox, VMware or Docker. It occurs when the required virtualization technology is either disabled, unsupported or blocked by other software. Let's go through all the possible fixes to resolve this issue. Follow these steps carefully and you should be able to solve the problem. First, check if your processor supports Intel VTX or AMD V. For Intel processors, you can use the Intel Processor Identification Utility and for AMD processors, you can use the AMD Virtualization Compatibility Tool. These tools are free and can quickly confirm if your CPU supports virtualization technology. If it does not, unfortunately, you won't be able to use features that rely on hardware virtualization. If your CPU supports virtualization, the next step is to check if another software like Hyper-V is conflicting with your virtual machine software. Hyper-V is a Windows feature that can block access to virtualization for other programs. To disable it, go to the control panel, click on Programs and Features, and then select Turn Windows Features On or Off. Look for Hyper-V in the list and uncheck it if it's enabled. Click OK and restart your computer. Another common issue could be related to security features in your system. Some antivirus programs, like Avast or Bitdefender, include virtualization or sandboxing features that may conflict with your virtualization software. Open your antivirus settings, look for features like Hardware Assisted Virtualization or Sandbox Mode and disable them temporarily. Restart your computer and check if the issue is resolved. If the error persists, update your virtualization software to the latest version. Go to the official website of your software, such as VirtualBox, VMware or Docker and download the most recent version. Updates often fix bugs and improve compatibility with hardware. Another potential solution is to ensure that your operating system is fully updated. Sometimes, older versions of Windows or Linux lack necessary patches for virtualization features. Check for updates through your system settings and install any pending updates. Another advanced fix involves checking for locked resources. On some systems, virtualization features can be locked by certain drivers or firmware. Tools like Securable or MSINFO32 can help identify if VTX is detected but locked. If this is the case, Consult your system or motherboard manufacturer's website for specific instructions to unlock these features. After trying these solutions, the error should be resolved. If the problem persists, it might indicate a deeper compatibility issue with your system's hardware or software configuration. At this point, contacting your motherboard or software support team may be necessary. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in the next video.